Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Ati Allah Ati Rasulullah Amri Binkum and always a reminder for myself and abdikul ajeezah, da'eefah, miskeen of zalim and jihad and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. And alhamdulillah Allah grace and mercy and the blessings of Ramadan inshaAllah to be upon us, our families, our children, our communities inshaAllah that Allah immense lights and a reminder for myself that we talked last night that in Ramadan Sifat al-Muntaqeem Allah's attribute and name the avenger in which to avenge his servant opens up on the month of Ramadan and that name of Allah encompassed the, the servant as soon as they make intention to fast the Ramadan, why Ramadan has so much blessings and ease and any other day of the year you try to fast is very difficult because your devils don't let you, won't let you block every type of, oh don't do it, don't, you can't. But because of Sifat and muntaqeem and the blessings of Ramadan that Allah immediately that attribute comes and begin to hit the nafs, hit the shaitans so that the servant can serve Allah And with that immense blessings a reminder that Ya Rabbi from the dress of al-muntaqeem that you allowed me to fast and allowed me to regain my position in your Divinely Presence where you'll bring my nafs to be nothing and you'll dress me from your oceans of Divine favors, grace and majesty. This is an immense blessing, immense gift and immensely sad for, for servants of Allah that don't want to fast and don't find the importance of the fast, have a fear of the fast. And all we can do for our loved ones is cry that, Ya Rabbi they don't know what type of gift you're granting. People become heedless and think that it doesn't matter but they don't know that what you're going to dress and what you're going to take of difficulties. And we can only watch as a spectator in this life how people put difficulty upon themselves and we pray that Allah will dress them and bless them, inspire them towards goodness. And if Allah will see any good in what we do to give to them and to dress them. From that immense light and immense blessing Sayyidina Muhammad steps in. Sayyidina Dhul Fadl that a life without the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is to be devoid of every rahmah and barakah and blessing. That Allah made everything to be beatific for the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad gave it. And son every opportunity for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad because he wants to make Sayyidina Muhammad to be happy. He granted him to be a king and said, all oh, this creation is your kingdom and I won't fill your kingdom with badness and wretchedness. I will give them every opportunity to be washed, to be cleansed and to be purified. And look how many holy nights Allah give to us as an opportunity that here come this night you'll be cleaned. Come this night and your one day fast will be 360 days fast. Come this night and pray as if you prayed all your life. Come meditate one hour and you'll be given the dress of 70 years of worship, all these Rahman, and mercy from Allah so that not to make the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad filled with dirtiness. This is an immense blessing and in the middle of this muntaqeem Sayyidina Muhammad enters into our reality and Sifat al Fadl begin to spread the grace of Allah and a Qasim 
Prophet talked to his companions, Ana Qasim, I don't just distribute camels for people. Ana Qasim that whatever Allah want to give, He gives to my soul and I disperse it, Rabbil Mu'mineen wa Rabbil Kafireen. He makes no distinction, they give all, all of this creation lights and blessings. Prophet is a rahmah for all of creation. Imagine then those whom trying to keep the way of Allah and Sifat al Fadl comes into their life and dresses with grace. What Allah is burning away of bad characters. Sifat of Prophet comes and begin to dress with rahmah and grace and love and majesty, beatific lights and beatific fragrances. The extent of Ana Qasim, Sayyidina Al Qasim is, is unimaginable of whatever Allah want to give is distributing that reality through the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah and the holy month of Ramadan give even more on top of that, that can't be imagined. Whatever the network and system that has been established to give and to distribute Allah promise in Ramadan, I give you beyond imagination, beyond imagination then that is a month in which we try our best to do good deeds, pray for those who didn't, didn't reach that understanding, forgot its understanding. It's a month in which to do good actions and good deeds in which Allah is already dispersing so much immense blessings. And on top of that whatever we do, imagine then how much that's being wrapped up in those blessings and in that immense dress of reality. We pray that Allah give us strength and good health in which to observe these holy days and to observe its holy nights. And that to have a, an ishq for the Divine the Presence, a rahmah, a mercy for all of creation and that Allah to be pleased with us. I beg your forgiveness and seek your, your satisfaction and your happiness in myself and in my character, in my actions and in my deeds. That Allah to look at us with a happiness. And that Allah complete His ni'mat upon us means complete His divinely favours. That everything I wanted to give to you, I want to dress you with, I want to, to be pleased with that dress and that you be pleased with that dress. We pray that Allah dress us from these dresses, gint us, grant us from these lights and inspire within our hearts our struggle. Many emails coming in and describing how difficult and this is difficult and everything is difficult and always a reminder for myself it's difficult for everyone and everyone is facing all their own difficulties. And tariqah comes to remind us that our life is about the struggle, is the victory is in Allah's hands because only Allah knows what victory is. When Allah is the only one who knows what his victory is for that servant and we're left with just a bowl of struggling and our life is to struggle, to struggle, to keep, to keep getting up from every time something is being knocked down, to keep moving, to keep moving, to keep trying to do more, try to do better, try to make our target always the Divinely Presence and our Akhirah reality. That we spend so much time trying to build the dunya reality but we're asking Ya Rabbi that whatever we do in this dunya make it to be a brick by brick for my home in paradise. And when that home is ready Allah sends you a notice that your home is ready my servant that come home. You can't go back when something's not ready then it would be a sense of difficulty. So everything that we do in this life it's with intention to have in our akhirah. Means that whatever we're doing out of big grant me good sustenance, grant me rizq, grant me health, grant me the ability to do, grant me the ability to serve so that I take my portion, my family portion 
and I give back in your way so that each brick by brick I'm building my house in paradise. And that each, each thing that I'm doing and every service that I'm doing, every time that I'm sacrificing in your way Ya Rabbi open my heart to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad So that when I take my last breath I know that who will be greeting me on the other side. Not the abode of nothingness and difficulty but all those whom I loved and I spent my years and my life in their madad and in their spiritual presence. That Rabbi to raise me on my last breath in their presence, to raise me on my last breath in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad to raise me in the presence of Ahlul Bayt, the Ashab and Nabi and they be pleased with me. I tried my best. Where I came short to answer and forgave me. What I couldn't accomplish of what I had to accomplish. We don't know how much time is left on this earth. Some may think it's years, it could be minutes. We pray that Allah continue to give us a himmah, a zeal in which to achieve what we have to achieve, not to be heedless. I don't know how anyone could be heedless seeing the face of death everywhere. Every, every moment the emails are coming in, this one is sick and they're dying, this one is sick and they're not breathing. And this is just the beginning. One after another of white death, red death will be coming. There's not enough vaccines to shoot yourself for all of the different variations of sicknesses that are coming. With all of that that we face as our horizon then all we should be thinking of, Ya Rabbi whatever I'm doing in this dunya that are you happy with me? Make it a means in which to reach towards your satisfaction. When we have that sense in our life we did the best that we could then what is there to fear? What is there to, to, to be worried about? We pray that Allah give us a heart in this month of Ramadan to understand, do the most that we can do to establish the most that we can establish and that Allah's rida and satisfaction on payday, on Eid is to grant us these lights, grant us these blessings, make us to be pure and purified and prepare us for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi and for whatever this dunya has in store for us. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.